Hi, my name is Vicki Conley. Welcome to my class, Breaking the Code. In this class, you translate a short phrase into Morse code using an online translator. Then, you want to assign graph paper squares for the dits and daws. A one square piece of graph is for a dit. Three squares of graph paper is for the daw. Three squares is for the space between letters. And seven squares is the space between the words. Then you translate your whole phrase onto the graph paper so that you have a piecing diagram. Then you piece all your pieces together using string piecing technique. Once you have an entire string put together, then using the serendipity method, we will break the code. So once you have made your whole strip piece of your code, you pin it to your design wall and you decide where you're going to break the code. For this particular one, I broke it at um, graph square number 46. So you take the seam apart, pull the second piece all the way back over to the start on your design wall, line it up, and then when you've matched it with the piece above, you break the code again, take the next piece, and line it back up at the beginning again, and you continue to do this, piecing very long strips of your entire code. But wait, there's more. If you like it planned out, let me show you the other way you can do this. So these two printouts show two different places I broke the same code, Be My Valentine, and I designed the whole thing in a spreadsheet really simply and then printed it out and had a plan to follow. So you can either have serendipity like the first way I showed you or a planned out design by doing it on the computer. Here are a couple of finished pieces. Every single piece will be unique depending on the phrase that you use and where you break the code. It's such a fun class to get a modern abstract piecing design.